I come before you not as someone from an academic institution who has simply reviewed and conducted research, crunched numbers, and reported program statistics. Along with my faculty colleagues at the University of Pittsburgh and those from schools of social work across the country, I serve as an instructor, advisor, field supervisor, and mentor of the child welfare students I will speak of today. We are fortunate in Pennsylvania to have a comprehensive continuum dedicated to child welfare education, training, technical assistance, organizational development, practice improvement, and research. The partnership that exists between the Department of Human Services, Office of Children, Youth, and Families, the Pennsylvania Children and Youth Administrators, and the University of Pittsburgh has enabled us to strengthen the child welfare system through collaborative efforts. Pennsylvania is a state-supervised, county-administered child welfare system. We have 67 counties, two large urban areas, and many rural communities. Our child welfare workforce ranges from nearly 700 in the city of Philadelphia to a staff of approximately four in Cameron County. Through our Child Welfare Resource Center, we provide training, technical assistance, organizational effectiveness interventions, and support for enhanced practice for all levels of public child welfare staff, caseworkers, supervisors, managers, and administrators. We are customer driven and strive to include the perspective of families and youth in the work that we do. We employ youth and parent alumni, the child welfare system, and we also actively facilitate youth advisory boards across the Commonwealth. Customer perspectives are included in the planning, implementation, and evaluation of our work. Training is delivered in 14 locations across the Commonwealth. Last year, we delivered almost 2,000 days of in-person training. In addition, we currently have 27 online trainings. In 2015, over 4,000 child welfare professionals completed an average of five online courses. Supervision, coaching, and transfer of learning are critical components of this training process. Public education and child abuse recognition and reporting is also provided through our Child Welfare Resource Center. Since November 2014, nearly one million mandated and permissive reporters of suspected child abuse and neglect have completed a free online course that was developed in collaboration with our State Office of Children, Youth, and Families. A Spanish version of the course is set to go live later this summer. A significant component of our work through the Child Welfare Resource Center is directed toward assisting agencies to function at their highest capacity through the use of organizational effectiveness intervention. We target leadership, agency functioning, resource gaps and strengths, and the use of data-driven decision-making. I now will focus more on our degree education programs and how we work in partnership with 16 universities across the state to provide baccalaureate and graduate education as an important strategy for developing the skills of the future and the current child welfare workforce. University agency partnerships in child welfare have a long history. In fact, since the beginning of federally funded child welfare services in 1935 with the passage of the Social Security Act, States have been encouraged to use a portion of their, of their funds to support the development of child welfare workers through social work education. Amendments to the Social Security Act provided funding to support training and education partnerships between social work education program and child welfare agencies. Pennsylvania took advantage of the opportunity to develop a degree education option for its child welfare workforce over 20 years ago by establishing an interagency agreement between the Department of Public Welfare, which is now the Department of Human Services, and the University of Pittsburgh. The university administers two degree education programs in collaboration with 15 other schools of social work throughout the state. Our undergraduate program, Child Welfare Education for Baccalaureates, or CWEB, is designed to recruit new child welfare workers into the field. Our graduate program, Child Welfare Education for Leadership, or CWEL, focuses on enhancing the skills and abilities of current child welfare workers through advanced professional education. The mission of these programs is to strengthen child welfare services to children and families by increasing the number of social work educated professionals and equipping them to deal with the increasingly 
complex demands of public child welfare practice. Our goals include addressing the critical issues of recruitment and retention, which are both state and national level priorities in child welfare. And we also provide academic and curricular support for child welfare studies to our university programs. We engage in efforts to promote skills and evidence-based practice. We conduct research and evaluation, and we advocate for practice improvement in the child welfare system. Most importantly, our programs support Pennsylvania's efforts to retain child welfare professionals by providing an educational career ladder and assisting in the long-term career development of our workforce. The CY program, our undergrad program, is currently in its 15th full academic year of operation. Our graduate program, CWELL, is in its 21st year. Both programs have become integrated into the fabric of public child welfare throughout the state, with 99% of counties in the Commonwealth participating. Through the CWEB program, we prepare undergraduates to enter the field of child welfare. Qualified students receive substantial financial support during their senior year in return for commitment to work in one of Pennsylvania's county public child welfare agencies following graduation. Students must satisfactorily complete child welfare coursework in an internship at a public child welfare agency. During the course of the internship, most students are able to complete a portion of the competency-based training which is required for all public child welfare caseworkers. Upon graduations, students also receive assistance with their employment search. Over 1,000 students have graduated from CWEB during the program's 15 years of operation. CWEB graduates have completed internships and have been employed in 90% of Pennsylvania's counties. Once in the field, they are able to draw on a solid background of on-the-job experience, educational preparation, and skill-based training. County child welfare agencies benefit immensely from the program because it addresses a critical child welfare workforce need by providing skilled, entry-level social workers who come into the field with a combination of academic knowledge and exposure to child welfare practice. The CWEL program, our graduate program, provides substantial financial support for graduate level social work education to current employees of public child welfare agencies. Caseworkers, supervisors, managers, and administrators of any Pennsylvania County Children and Youth Agency are eligible to apply to participate. CWEL has funded students from 64 counties and 12 Pennsylvania schools of social work on both a full and a part-time basis. At the present time, approximately 20% of the Pennsylvania child welfare workforce consists of a CWEL graduate or a current CWEL student. Additionally, CWEL serves as an educational career ladder for public child welfare employment. The active CWEL student enrollment during the current academic year consists of 20% CWEB undergrad alumni. CWEL reimburses salary and benefits for full-time students covers tuition, fees, and other expenses for both full and part-time students in return for commitment to the employing county child welfare agency upon graduation. During the 21 years of the program, 1,282 child welfare professionals have earned graduate social work degrees. These individuals ver occupy various positions ranging from caseworker to administrator. The program has a remarkably successful record of retention with retention rates averaging 92%. Currently, 193 individuals are engaged in child welfare studies through the CWEB and CWEL programs, 80 at the undergrad level, 113 at the graduate level. We were acknowledged as a model program in the nation. The CWEB and CWEL education programs, along with the Child Welfare Resource Center, have been recognized as key strengths in Pennsylvania during both rounds of the Federal Child and Family Services Review. We anticipate no less in round three of the CFSR. Our graduates have assumed leadership roles and practice initiatives throughout the state, actively contribute to shaping the future of child welfare services on the local, state, and national level. Graduates are providing direct service, serving as managers and supervisors, mentoring junior colleagues, contributing to training curricula, conducting quality improvement initiatives, and working as child welfare trainers or consultants. We're proud that an increasing number of our child welfare graduates have assumed teaching roles in schools of social work throughout the state of Pennsylvania, 
many as adjunct professors, others as part-time clinical faculty, and some as directors of social work programs. Over 25 years of research findings have highlighted several key areas that guide Pennsylvania's investment and the investment across this country in professional social work education for the child welfare workforce. And I'll just highlight a few of these. Graduates of social work programs who specialize in child welfare are more likely to remain in child welfare and experience greater job satisfaction. Social work graduates tend to stay in child welfare longer, come to the agency ready to do the job, make better decisions about child protection, and not be overwhelmed. Higher education is essential for developing caseworker competencies. Social work education appears to be related to job retention and staff stability. Guided by the work of NASW, the Child Welfare League of America, the Council on Social Work Education, and the National Child Welfare Workforce Institute, Pennsylvania has developed the following competencies for its child welfare workforce. Professionalism, cultural competence, teaming, engagement, assessment, planning, implementing, monitoring and adjusting, law and policy, social, economic, and environmental justice. Both the National Association of Public Child Welfare Administrators and the Child Welfare League of America suggest that Child Protective Services staff should have a BSW or MSW degree. Along with the results of empirical studies, we've learned much from listening to the experience of workers, supervisors, and administrators, and also to the voice of children and families. They tell us about these key attributes of an adequately prepared and supported workforce. The ability to handle more complex caseloads. The ability to perform tasks more competently. Greater effectiveness in developing permanency plans for children. Increased skill in engaging children and families. The ability to negotiate conflicting job demands the ability to deal with a critical public and more negative than positive media attention, greater job satisfaction. No amount of contracts, agreements, budgets, reports, curricula, or any other academic and administrative components of these education programs can produce a successful outcome without exceptional students. The vast majority of the students selected to participate in the CWEB and CWELL programs and 40 programs across the country have been exceptional achievers academically as well as leaders among their peers. They have distinguished themselves through their dedication to working with society's most vulnerable children and families and in circumstances that involve daily exposure to upsetting situations and overwhelming crises. I salute them with sincere admiration. The voice of our students provide the most compelling evidence of the wise investment in child welfare education. Last month, one of our MSW graduates joined me in testifying to the Pennsylvania House Children and Youth Committee. She shared her personal story of dedication to our child welfare system that began 20 years ago when she worked as a clerk typist at the Philadelphia Department of Human Services. Through typing case notes, she learned about the services provided to children and families. This was her first exposure to child abuse and the trauma that children endured. She began to interview caseworkers and gain an understanding of the barriers and the rewards they experienced in working with families. She eventually obtained a position as a Philadelphia DHS caseworker and worked in various positions over the next 16 years before applying for the CWEL program to get her graduate education. This individual now has an MSW degree and is an intake supervisor who oversees the work and provides support to her own casework staff, an investment wisely made. In closing, I want to share the words of a newly admitted CWEB participant who will be entering her senior year at Temple University this fall. She gave me permission to share these excerpts from her application. Since I began college, 